I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention all 8th graders, make sure to turn in the summer school course form and the money by February 14th or Valentine's Day. Hey, Miss Gilliam, you think you know all about language and literature? I challenge you to academic pursuit. Hey, Mr. Richmond, you're about to be history. Uh-huh. Academic pursuit's gonna beat you. Uh-huh. Hey, Miss Richmond, Joubert, you think you can beat some of us in academic pursuit? Well, let's see. Come join us Wednesday night. Mr. Warren, I'm warning you. In academic pursuit, you're gonna get beat, but not physically, metaphorically. Because lives matter. <laughs> You're Ms. Kostler. We've got some news for you. Come to academic pursuit and go against us, the students of academic pursuit. Don't good forget. luck, but not that good. <laughs> Don't forget to throw some soap bar. Yeah! <laughs> Going down. We're just. Miss Kreisoff, you think you're so smart with all your books and literature? I challenge you to an academic pursuit me. Hey, Mr. Renz, you think you're so good at dodgeball? Well, dodge these questions at academic pursuit. Isn't the point to answer that? I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's supposed to dodge them because we're going to win. Yeah. by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I'll be buried in my grave and go home to my The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit, to choose our better history, to carry forward that precious gift, that noble idea passed on from generation to generation the God-given promise that all are equal, all are free, and all deserve a chance to pursue their full measure of happiness. Augustus Jackson was an African-American ice cream maker and confectioner from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Jackson served as a chef in the White House during the 1820s. He, he created ice cream how we make it today. George Washington Carver was born into slavery near the end of the American Civil War. After a tumultuous childhood, Carver went on to be educated and was the first black student to attend Iowa State University studying botany. Carver was hired by Booker T. Washington to head the Agriculture Studies Department at the Tuskegee Institute, which achieved national renown under his leadership. His work with plants led to many discoveries and the invention of numerous pants and dyes. He devised over 300 uses for the peanut, but despite the belief to the contrary, he did not invent peanut butter. Carver used his celebrity to promote scientific causes for the remainder of his life. Paul E. Williams was involved in the development of the first useful helicopter. There are 
There were three units altogether, although the such helicopter was not produced until 1962. He is acknowledged for incorporating various novel features into the helicopter that have affected the entire operation of the helicopter in a brilliant way. Otis Boykin began to invent products on his own, with some of his noteworthy inventions including a wire precision wrister used in televisions and radios and a control unit for the pacemaker. Madam C.J. Walker was born in 1867 to parents who were formerly enslaved on a cotton plantation in Louisiana. In order to escape an abusive home life and oppressive working conditions, Walker got married at age 14. Her husband died just two years later and Walker moved to St. Louis and worked as a washwoman by day to support her daughter and attended public night school to continue her education. After developing a scalp disorder, Walker came up with home remedies to treat her condition. These scalp and hair products became popular in her community. With the support of her new husband, Walker became traveling and promoting her new products. Her business grew to the point that she was able to open a factory in 1908 in Pittsburgh. In 1910, she transferred her business in Indianapolis. These Walker agents became well known throughout the black communities of the United States. Henry Thomas Sampson Jr. was born in 1934 in Jackson, Mississippi. He died June 4, 2015 in Stockton, California. He was an African-American inventor known for creating the Gamma Electric Cell, a device with the main goal of generating auxiliary power from the shielding of a nuclear reactor. Let's check it out. Shut the camera off. See the batteries.